Muir goes out there and O'Rourke just has to come off his post. Declan Goodell fills in. Great ball again played in. And Chris Hegarty with a diving header to clear his lines. And done really well out now to McDonough once again. Teasing ball played in and good hands there from Jonathan Tuffy because Joe Gormley was just coming in round and Philip Laurie had just ran beyond him. Ball breaks now to Forsyth down this right hand side as he makes his way into the box. It's still Jordan Forsyth if he can pick someone out. Goes in the back to Adam Leckie and Adam Leckie! Hasn't scored, has he? I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, bar, I think the keeper's, it's hit off the bar and, yeah, and Gartside has saved it but. Oh, I think he probably need to score that Ross, doesn't he? Now he is Ronan Hale just on the overlap, but finds the feet of Gallagher. It's now McDonough who can pick someone out, and Joe Cormley is coming in there. And Jordan Forsyth just had to knock that ball out, but that was better delivery this time from Paul Heatley. And goes out, and it is Philip Lowry who gets the final touch. And after 14 minutes, Crusaders are in front. We spoke, Ross, about the first delivery from Paul Heatley. He didn't beat the first man, but that second one, what a ball in to Philip Lowry. He had a man's foot, just pinpoint target precision from Paul Heatley. And, and uh, yeah, Philip Lowry, from, I think from a standing position, just manages to find the part to beat the keeper. Robinson does well if he can find Paul Heatley, which he does. Paul Heatley now is Josh Robinson's just running beyond him, but it's still Paul Heatley. One more, and no, it's still Paul Heatley. He's going himself. He's going to have a go from range, but... I think he was just using Josh Robinson as a decoy there. He had maybe no intentions of ever giving the ball to him. O'Rourke teed in towards the back post. If, yeah, that was Coach got there, but out now to Leckie. He tries to clip it back in as Philip Lowry once again was just making the run out mm -hmm. in the back of Luke Turner. Mm -hmm. Hale is just on the shoulder of Robinson, does well, and now the ball comes out to Joe Gormley. And what a save, but it's still Ronan Hale. Cleared again off the line. Third. <laughs> chance but Crusaders do get there and that's actually just spurred give a wee bit more life around save you here because Cliftonville O'Rourke teed in and oh. I think yeah I think Lackey maybe did get the final touch under Colin Coates and cut that pass out there with Paul Haley done it I think it's it's half the battle good to Work there by Billy Joe Burns. Still Burns, if he can get his touch in front there, but it's good defending by Addis. But Cadell with the outside of the boot finds Jordy O'Rourke, who is going to go. And Paul Healy to make it two goals to Crusaders. And I have to say, Ross, what a ball from Declan Cadell. Yeah, outside of his boot. He sees, sees Jordy O'Rourke's able to advance in that final third. Uh, John does such a good job, takes it down and, and plays the ball across the, the face of the goal and, and the Paul Heatley, who we've seen over the years a number of times just in the right area at the right time he there to provide the, the touch in the back of the net Disappointed to give it away in that McDonough position McDonough in towards and yeah, Tuffy does really well just to get something on that as Winchester comes away with the ball if he can keep the ball in play, which he does finds O'Rourke on the inside, Paul Heatley just out to the left if he can find Paul Heatley and doesn't but Still Crusaders with the ball. Just carve out some more opportunities as Forsyth gets there. Paul Heatley is. Yeah. I tell you what, Colin Coates had his arm around Paul Heatley. And yes, we're going to be biased. There's absolutely no doubt. But I think he's got let off with one there. Yeah. Got to be careful now to not let Ronan Hale cut in. Find the shot. Does well to find Levi Ives. Clip ball in towards. And yeah, I think it was headed out there by O'Rourke. And oh, he's, yeah, just yeah, he's taking just no risks. Addis clips it back in towards Joe Gormley. Important header from Josh Robinson. Curran making his way in. And great tackle once again from Chris Hegarty. As it's now a throw in to Cliftonville. The switch is on to find Paul Heatley if he can get there. He's up against Ronan Doherty. And plenty of Crusaders men moving forward. But Paul Heatley goes along. Cuts inside. Still Paul Heatley. But... Just takes a nudge there and goes out for a corner to Crusaders. Dean Abbey. Forsyth does well to find the run of Dean Abbey if he can just make his way towards goal. Slip ball in to find Jordan Owens. Comes out now to Owens. He has a shot! And Jordan Owens with an absolute screamer! Just to remind us of the record goal scorer. And the you couldn't write the script, Ross. What a finish from Jordan Owens! He took it so well. Just struck it so well. 
Did you expect it when he takes that ball out of his feet, Ross? There's players all around him. I'm thinking play it on, play it on. There's a man out here out wide. But. And there you have it. It is the full-time whistle today at CV. It's Crusaders 3, Cliftonville 0. Feeling this Boxing Day derby, always one that we look forward to, but you must be really happy with the team's performance today and their work ethic. I'm absolutely delighted. You know, you get to a fixture like this and Boxing Day and a full house and, uh, you know, the supporters come out in huge numbers and, you know, when it means a lot to, to everyone when it comes to players, management, supporters, there, there's that edge in this game, which is always important, and you have to make sure that you're ready to play it. And our team were ready to play today. They were magnificent from the get go. We were stronger than them. We 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 had fucked them a little bit with our shape today, and you know we lost Clarkie, of course, with suspension. So we needed to get some attacking threat up there, and I thought playing Paul on the side, Adam would cause him a lot of trouble, and not allow them time and to set their play up and pass it and do all their things and. We hurried them from the get-go and we just knocked them out of their stride and they just couldn't cope with it. So I think our performance levels today were as good as I've seen them for some time and you know we've got to keep working on that. It's only three points, you know, but this is a special day of course because it's not the North Belfast Derby. So we'll, we'll enjoy the moment, let's say. Over the last few weeks we've spoke a lot about the injuries and the you know the suspensions and obviously today and before the warm-up Gary Thompson had to come out and came Declan Goodell and you must have thought it's going to be one of those days. but. The individuals and the characters of the whole players, and it didn't set them back in any way. It was just like we're just on up for a minute one. Yeah, it's you know what sometimes what people maybe don't recognise or see is what's going on behind the scene. You know, with, with Johnny McMurray on the bench today, and he's been carrying a foot injury and wasn't you know he's twenty percent fit to play, and uh, that was just to fill a bench. So we, we were again down to the wire a little bit. Where you know Jude coming back wasn't hundred percent ready to play. Declan we had to pull out there whenever Gary pulled his back. Uh, so those are all things that you have to just deal with as a manager and coaching staff and, and you know see what you've got and get people into certain positions and do your thing but I thought the manner of the performance today from everyone you know I think they announced the man of the matches the whole Crusaders team I think that says speaks volumes for what way these boys have performed and played here today I thought they were just terrific and, uh, and roared on by the fans which was, was Immense. It was really, really immense. It was like it was like winning the league all over again. It was, it was, such was the atmosphere in that dressing room and or in the ground today. Just really good. So a big thank you to all of them. Uh, that that that's important. They'll go home and enjoy their turkey dinner. I'm sure tonight. I'm cautious not to mention individual players, but I'm, I am going to ask you quickly. Josh Robinson hasn't played any football. He came in today. He was outstanding. Declan Cadell had to come in again. You know, we spoke a lot about his retirement. And one of the one of the players, obviously, that was seen in puts a ball in the back of the net for the third goal in a, in a wordy, but Jordan Owens comes on. It must be really nice to see all of those things happening and, and, and the togetherness of the squad. Well, listen, it would probably take me too long in this interview to, to say what I think of these guys, uh, what how they perform, the level they perform to, the hunger and desire to, to keep going and do what they do. Jordan Owens is just, honestly, I, I have so much respect for Jordan Owens. He's just been a dream person from the day he arrived at this football club. He's a legend of our club. Uh, the goal he scores is a wonder goal. Um, they don't come much sweeter than that one, the way he hit that today. And, and it capped a really great day off. So, you know, that's so pleasing for, for all of the guys. You know, Josh, as you say, he's been battling with that uh, facial injury for such a long time. And then he steps in and as if he's never been away. And so you need your senior pros to step up. Uh, at the right time, the right moments, and deliver for you. And, and I thought each and every one of them, Christopher Hegarty and him and Billy Joe were the three in there today uh, that we built that performance on. And uh, there was, you know, outside of the one that, that was flipped over the top of their their head, and, and uh, Joe Gornick screws it past the post. There, there was there was little winning behind them today, and I thought they were really good, really really good. And then the, the, the battling performances, the midfield, you know, take nothing away from Jude Winchester, Philip, and uh, Dan Goodell were outstanding today. They, they, they hurried that team from start to finish, never give them a minute's piece to, to, to let them build their play. And then when you have people like Lecky and Heatley, people like that there up front, you know, Jonathan Roar, oh, what a performance, Jordan Forsyth. So all of those guys today deserve so much credit for their performances and we'll be very pleased with our day's work. 
Well, you've made a, a few happy faces in the show road and beyond, I'm sure, today, Stephen. So, very Merry Christmas and thank you very much. And the same to all of you. Jordan, the uh, first introduction of you was to come in and defend the corner. It's off you on the wall, out for a corner, and then you go on and score an absolute worldly. Yeah, I couldn't get up a pitch after, after defending it. No, um, that's what I was on to do, you know, defend the ball at all, because we you know, couldn't go to put any better pressure on us. But, um, no, we defended it well today. As I say, I got the goal, which sort of killed the game. A man of your calibre and the goals that you've scored, where's today's goal rank? Right? <laughs> I'll be up there on my best. I've seen Adam Nackey actually running down, you know, and set himself all the and maybe pass, pass it back to the keeper. But thank you, big Adam told me, you know, thank God he never got to me when he got there. But no, I, I looked up and hit it, you know, and thank you, winning that. What do these games mean, Jordan? You've played a lot of North Belfast Derby, especially at Seaview, Full House, and what an occasion. But what's it like for you playing on these games even now? Yeah, they're big games, you know, everybody, you've seen the crowd today, they're out in numbers, you know, and that's what you want to be playing in, you know. The legs aren't up the scratch net, they're not, you know, to play these big games, you know, but, you know, men throw them in there and, um, you know, when to do the job, and as I say, everybody wants to play in, and you've seen the crowd today, it was, it was a great atmosphere. And just seeing that, that, that game out, obviously, go 3 0 up in front, but you heard the whole of CV singing Jordan Owen's name, what's, what's that like to listen to, you and, and the scene you giving them a wee bit back and, and giving them goals to up again? Yeah, you know, they come out in their numbers today, you know, and they're very loud, you know, they're, they're very loud, and, you know, hopefully we give them a good, uh, you know, good performance today. And you know, it wasn't all about me scoring that goal today. I thought that their defence was outstanding and midfield. You know, we never get the club going in the pace. You know, so you know, it was a good job done today. And a very merry Christmas to you, Jordan. Thank you very much today. Thank, Thank you, yourself. Thank you.